happy holidays. I was very pleasantly surprised to come home and find my subscription box had arrived rather quickly. So I just wanted to do a quick unboxing and let's get to it. I wanted you to see the box as it came to me. These pencils were inside the outside box. There was an exterior box and then the official subscription box inside of it. And I'm not sure if the colored pencils were supposed to be inside or not, um, but this is how it was sent to me. This is a quick unboxing so you can see everything as it came out the box and how it came out the box. And then we'll go over it in a little bit more detail um, piece by piece. So like I said, these were in the exterior box and they are colored pencils. They are metallic and there are five of them in the uh, subscription box colors. I didn't see, maybe it was in the box, but I did not see the um, official name of this box. And I on purpose do not watch any of the videos or official breakdowns until I receive my box. I love the surprise of getting them in the mail, opening them. When I know what's in there, I kind of, um, it just kind of takes something away from me. There's so much joy from just not really knowing and opening it up and seeing what it is that you got that particular month. So these are the colored pencils. I'm gonna do a test with them after we open up all of the items that we draw with just so you can get a better idea. The elements in the box were all these sort of um, metallic pastel -y colors. I don't want to say pastel. I don't know if they're what how I would describe them but pinks, greens, blues, um, silver, metallic colors are basically the colors in the box and I would say it's celestial with a little bit of a Nordic twist. I'm curious uh, if my assessment of it is um, on track or not. I probably will go back and watch the official unboxing from Archer and Olive after I um, do this video. All right, let's move on to the next item. The next item were Archer and Olive gel pens. It says white gel pens with a 0.6 millimeter tip, but um, there are a number of colors as you can see. There are two white gel pens, a pink, two different blues, and this green. So we're gonna do a quick pen test. This is in my Archer and Olive blackout notebook so that I can, I use this notebook a lot for different things, um, but I don't wanna waste the paper, so I tend to do my test on the same page. So you'll see uh, a, a test from a different set of metallic acrylic paint pens there. Right now I am swatching the colored pencils. You can't really tell, tell excuse me, from the um, video, but these were quite lovely. Uh, they do not smudge. So this is probably not uh, a pencil that you're gonna be doing much blending with. It is very much like once that color goes down, it's not moving. You'll see me do a quick smudge test. Um, I don't have much to say about them. You, I wouldn't necessarily say you could use them for drawing much if you are trying to sort of blend colors, but they are perfect for maybe coloring in things fully. And I thought the colors were quite lovely. You can see in comparison to the pens that uh, the colors are lovely, but a little bit on the muted side. Now let's get into these gel pens. Like I said before, there are two white, I believe the two white pins are the same tip. Honestly, we can't get enough white gel pins. I use them constantly, not just in my bullet journal, but for other things. And also just as a corrector within uh, my bullet journal if I make a mistake throughout the month. I thought the pens were quite smooth. And once I started using them, I felt like it 
it wrote rather well and at first I kind of felt like the ink was taking its time getting out but once I start using it it seemed to flow quite smoothly I did a sort of like patch so we see what it'd be like to color in uh, something maybe like a letter I don't know if I'd use these gel pens to color in um, like a drawing but something small maybe I was really loving these blues and these this green. Green is my absolute favorite color, so I was pretty excited about it. Uh, it takes a while for this gel to dry. You'll see me sort of smudging it, giving it a little bit of time, first sort of right away, and then about 10 seconds, and then I think maybe I gave the second one um, 15 it takes a while for it to dry I, I don't think I did any smudge test where it didn't smudge so just keep that in mind as you are using them all right so the next item is a stencil that little smudge is from my fingers <laughs> some ink and stuff from my fingers that got on it uh, it wiped off really easily uh, we got stencils in a previous archer and olive box and it was plastic these are metal so these celestial animal print stickers came in the box now that i'm looking at it i wonder if it um is has anything to do with the northern lights but um there were some great animal stickers in there and then there was this sticky notepad so it came like this and then you opened it up and there were two different types of sheets in the notepad um i'm hoping you can see it we had the one with the rabbit and then there is one with the bear there it is I'm not quite sure what I will use these for they are not dot grid so it's not something um, you can sort of cut out and use in your journal uh, but these were nice so these came in a glassine envelope I love Archer and Olive packaging and I love the um, the wax stamps I wax stamps that I use in my um, own sort of letter writing stationery i think sending a, a note a thank you note sort of a lost art and i love doing that so these were sort of like individual calendar pages and they kind of fit like a dutch door i was curious about the sizing of them because they're quite large you have six months so it's for the first half of the year i would say and they were really pretty when they are stacked together they look like they sort of fit into a beautiful set up Dutch door image. These are way too large to use in my personal um, A5 journal. I'm not sure, I don't have a B5, so I'm not sure size wise how that will work. Um, and I'm not quite sure what size this journal, which came inside of the box is. There are 40, 160 GSM blackout pages and the texture of the notebook is almost kind of like a tweed and it has the rabbit that has been featured throughout the stickers and everything i did a quick test to see if these calendar pages would fit within the journal and they do i'm not sure what i will use it for but they definitely fit the last item was a vegan leather journal bag uh, it has a sort of top handle for um, holding and then it has the celestial nordic northern lights theme that has been on all the other items in the um, box it has a vegan leather tassel which i quite enjoyed and then it also features all these pockets for pens notebooks i imagine all the things that came in the box probably will fit pretty tidily inside of this bag i did a test to see if the journal fit inside of this bag and the journal that came with the bag but i couldn't get it in there um, so I'm thinking that this is probably for a traditional size journal and not the item that came in the box. Or maybe it is and I just need to finagle it a little bit. All right, that's everything that came in the box. I can't wait to use it. By far my favorite item is that blackout journal though. If you enjoyed this content, please take the time to like and subscribe. 
See you in a bit.